Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's episode, we're gonna be going over the Prime Violet Medal for today's metal analysis. Now, just like usual, I already have the metal analysis article already up on my website at khuxnation.com. Patreon members got exclusive early access to the article before the video came out. But now that the video is out, you guys are able to go ahead and see it on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the metal analysis. All right, so Prime Violet is a magic upright metal tier four AOE cost one gauge does three hits has a six star score of 40.811 a seven star score of 62.453 and the six star version of the metal has a total max multiplier of a 5.34 to a 9.34 and the seven star version of the metal has a total max multiplier of a 17.2 to a 21.21 and this is what her ability does for four turns she raises the general defense by three tiers, your PSM defense by four tiers. She also adds plus one enemy counters, as well as does more damage with more party members. Her seven star version of the ability does the exact same thing as her six star version, except with the plus three upright strength buff as well, and a plus 20% guilt buff too. Now, because of the fact that Prime Violet is a turtle metal, um, there's only a handful of actual skills they're actually going to want to try and use on Violet. Um, the most notable of them being any sort of defense skill what at all whatsoever. If you happen to have watched my uh, status elements videos regarding PvP, I believe I had mentioned in that video um, that in terms of placing skills, especially when it comes towards PvP, uh, you want to try and place skills on metals that you know you will use in both PvP and in general situations as well. And for turtle metals, that happens to be the case where uh, you would want defensive skills because the whole point of using a turtle metal is to survive as long as possible while dealing as much damage slowly over time to slowly kill your opponent, okay? That's the whole premise of, a, of turtle strategies. So in that regards, uh, having a defense skill on a turtle metal is your best bet because it does what I just told you as well as the fact that you can still use it in PvP for some defensive buffs as well as still having that defense skill if needed. Um, some other skills that you could put on her though which are more exclusively for PvP are going to be any of the status ailments. I would preferably prioritize sleep or paralysis over poison. Poison is not that great although I mean it can be useful but uh, out of the three status elements within the game, sleep and paralysis are by far the best. So I would prioritize those two if possible. Um, in terms of traits though, extra attack is by far, of course, going to be the best trait you're gonna wanna have, especially on Prime Violet, specifically because of the fact that if you happen to cast her twice, you can pretty much have completely maxed out defensive buffs, which is absolutely insane. So having extra attack it would obviously be the best. The other traits that you could have on her as well though are going to be uh, sleep or paralysis resist traits, the 20%. Uh, poison doesn't really matter, but the sleep and paralysis are going to matter when it comes to PvP, as well as uh, plus two gauges. Anything else isn't really going to help too much. You could have the minus 60 defense traits if you really wanted to, but she's not really trying to do damage. You're, that's not your goal with her. So it's honestly a, not a big deal if you don't have the minus 60 traits on her. Now, other than that, what I have to say about Prime Violet is that I am actually super stoked about Prime Violet because she, because of the fact she is quite literally, um, in terms of defensive buffs anyways for turtling, she is the best turtle metal within the game. Um, in terms of defensive buffs, okay. Now, obviously the biggest comparison that's going to be made with Prime Violet are going to be the pre the previous Organization 13 medals such as Vexen Plus and Zexion Plus. Okay. We already know that Zexion Plus pretty much gets rid of Vexen Plus. Uh, so the main comparison is going to be Zexion Plus with Prime Violet. The most notable difference between these two medals is going to be the fact that Zexion Plus actually provides a minus three general strength debuff for multiple turns, whereas Violet doesn't provide any strength debuffs at all whatsoever, but at the same time does provide more defense buffs, okay? I kind of mentioned it a bit already, um, but one thing I want to show you guys real quick on khuxtracker.com is the fact that if you're using Prime Violet, okay, like right here over here, you only need to cop here once or just, you know, if you happen to have extra tech, only use her twice, basically, in order to have near maxed out defense buffs within the game, okay? The only thing that using Prime Violet would not accomplish by using her twice is the fact that the general defense 
uh, would not be completely maxed out. It would be missing one more general defense. Um, but that is still significantly better compared to if you tried multicasting uh, Zexion Plus, where even if you try uh, triple casting Zexion Plus, you use him three times, you actually only get six uh defense bus for all defenses okay um uh, which is actually quite a bit less compared to uh violet who only needs two casts in order to pretty much near max out everything okay now like i mentioned before zexian plus does provide that minus three general def uh general strength debuff though so that can pause you can arguably say that that makes up for it but now at the same time because the fact we do have prime misses incredible within the game as well you probably don't even have to worry about zexian plus because the fact you can literally just double cast prime violet and then use a single cast of prime misses incredible and boom you have pretty much everything there for you since because of the fact she does provide minus seven uh, general strength debuffs as well as uh, minus two PSM strength debuffs as well uh, with an override mechanic too. Aside from that though, let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheets for uh, comparing Prime Violet along with the other tier four medals within the game. Uh, right here are the six star spreadsheets for tier four. And right now it's organized by score. Uh, Prime Violet did have a score of 44.811 uh, for her six star version. And as you can see right here, she's actually pretty high up amongst the tier four medals. The only other ones above her are pretty much every other Prime that's ever came out so far <laughs> within the game. Which is understandable because the fact she's a turtle medal, she's not really there for damage or anything like that. Um, and the only utility she has is just defense, but that's it. Um, everything else pretty much provides more offensive uh, utilities in some way, shape, or form. So that kind of makes sense. In terms of her total max multiplier, though, for six-star medals, if we scroll down a bit, we can actually see that pretty much all three, except from Mr. Incredible himself, are pretty much near the bottom of the totem pole uh, in terms of... Uh, tier 4 damage medals for total max multiplier. But then again, please keep in mind as well that Violet does deals more damage the more party members that you have in your party. So in that aspect, uh, chances are we're probably not going to be looking at her lowest multiplier anyways, and it's going to be probably more along the lines of uh, towards her higher multiplier. So if we go ahead and categorize this by the alternative total max multipliers for tier four, six stars, we can actually see that she actually rises up a very significant amount near uh, the top section of the entire spreadsheet, um, right below Mrs. Incredible and Dash as well, um, with a multiplier of 9.34, um, which isn't the greatest, but I mean, it's not that bad for, uh, for a tier four medal. Although it's still nowhere near the type of damage that Meadows like uh, Buzz Woody and Keyart 17 could provide though uh, for the alternate total max multiplier. Actually, it's even worth noting that Buzz Woody and Keyart 17 actually deal more damage as well with just their bottom worst multiplier compared to Violet's best multiplier, uh, which is like a 0.5 difference between the two. So that's worth noting. Um, in terms of the seven star medals though, uh, versions of each of the tier four medals, uh, if we go ahead and look at the total max multipliers for each of the medals, uh, if we scroll down, we can actually see that Violet, just like with the six star versions, is near the bottom um, for the total max multiplier. But uh, if we were to go ahead and take a look at the alternative total max multiplier instead, and if we scroll down a bit, we can actually see that Prime Violet is right here. Just kind of barely within the first like section of the spreadsheet, but she does go down quite a bit, but uh, with a multiplier of 21.21. .21. But like I mentioned before, this is completely okay because of the fact that she is a turtle metal. She's not really there for damage in the first place. So um, I'm honestly showing you the multipliers out of more of obligation than anything else. <laughs> Other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. By all means, let me know what your thoughts are about the metal analysis or the metal itself down in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.